It's a close game between the Globetrotters and the Dunkers. Olsen of the Dunkers makes a fancy shot over Pablo Robertson's head for two points. The score is tied 70 to 70. How much time have we left, Granny? Eight seconds, Meadowlark. We don't have to hurry. Sink it, Curly. What a shot! The Trotters win 72 to 70. Quick, Granny, warm up the bus. Take your showers, boys. The bus will be ready to go. According to the lawyer's directions, Bobby Joe, that must be your dear departed uncle's estate up ahead. I forgot I had a rich uncle. If he's your uncle, he probably forgot to put you in his will. <laughs> and my nephew, Bobby Joe, will be guardian of my estate for one day. Then, donate it to the city for a free hospital. As a last request, I would like a Globetrotter basketball game to celebrate the signing over of the deed. How about it, fellas? We'll be glad to do it. And we can donate the proceeds for hospital supplies. What about me? Didn't he leave me anything? I'm his trusted accountant, and I'm also a nephew. To my crooked, book-juggling nephew, Snidely, I leave absolutely nothing. What? Well, I'll get the estate yet, and before the day is over. Here's the house gym, fellas. Start practicing. Right, Granny. Come on, man. Let's go. Hey, Metalark, pass the ball. Here it is, Curly. My famous boomerang special. <laughs> You made a basket. <laughs> Look at those trotters practicing for the game. Little do they suspect what I have in store for them. What's your plan, Mr. Snidely? Yeah. What are you going to do, Mr. Snidely? I'm going to give my dear cousin and his friends a farewell banquet. And when it's over, the estate will be as good as mine. Come on. We've got to see a man about a potion. <laughs> My mouthwash formula needs a little more work. Yes. I'd say it needed a lot more work. Oh, yes. Now, uh, what can I do for you? Do you have a potion that would make someone obey my every command? Ah, what a coincidence. I have the very thing. My elixir of carburetor cleaner. I don't want a carburetor cleaner. Allow me to elucidate. It didn't clean the carburetor. But my car followed me around for days. Like a pup, right out of obedient school. You mean it obeyed your every command? Ah, yes. It even brought me the funny papers. I'll take it. Down, boy, down. <laughs> Just to show you there's no hard feelings, I've prepared a huge banquet in your honor, Bobby Joe. Did you hear that, fellas? Yeah, Cousin Snidely's a real groovy guy. Did you ever see such a splendid repass? I hope we'll always be friends, Cousin Snidely. I'll drink to that, Bobby Joe, with a glass of tomato juice. But first, let's close our eyes and wish success for the new city hospital. Okay, I'm wishing. <laughs> now to put this obedience potion in Bobby Joe's tomato juice. <laughs> Success, Bobby Joe. Success, Cousin Snidely. <laughs> What's the matter with Bobby Joe? You shall obey my every command, understand? I understand. Twister, throw them out. Yeah, boss. Oh, 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 oh. If you guys don't leave, you know what I'm gonna do to you? No, Big Mouth. What? I'm gonna tie you in knots. Oh, oh. Yeah? Then what, Fathead? Then I'll bounce you off the floor. <laughs> we better leave before we all end up like pretzels. Right, Granny. Hey, wait for me! Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment with more exciting fun. 
sure didn't sound like Bobby Joe. I still think there's something to miss about all this. And I'd sure like to find out what it is. How can we? When they're up there and we're down here. Easy. We simply toss you, geese, and pap up to the window where you can listen in. Are you sure this will work, Metal Ark? Sure, I'm sure. Now to the window you go. <laughs> Your next geese. Are you? Your turn, Pam. That obedience potion is working beautifully on Bobby Joe. After the game is over, I'll order Bobby Joe to sign over the estate deed to me. Your plan is working great, boss. <laughs> All right, let's have it. What did you hear at the window? Snidely fed an obedience potion to Bobby Joe. Then after the game is over, he's ordering Bobby Joe to sign over the estate deed to him. He can't do that, can he? I'm afraid so. Unless we can get Bobby Joe out of the house and give him an antidote. And I have a tailor-made plan on how to do it. See who's at the door, Crusher. Yeah? How do you do? I'm Mr. Taylor, and this is my partner, Mr. So. Good day, good day, sir. What do you want? Who sent for you? Why, Bobby Joe did. He ordered a new wardrobe. Where is he? Bobby Joe, did you send for these tailors? Maybe I did. I, I can't remember. Fine, we'll start right in. Mr. Stitch, I can't work in such shoddy surroundings. Just look at the clothes they're wearing. Tacky, tacky. Mind if we work on your friend first, Bobby Joe? Uh, oh, sure. Nose to wrist, 37 and a half inches. Nose to wrist, 37 and a half inches. Check. Eye to eye, 42 inches. Eye to eye, 42 inches. Check. Scissors. Scissors. Material. Material. It drapes perfectly. Needle and thread. Needle and thread. Thank you. You're welcome. There. I can't move. I can't either. What kind of a suit is this? Come along, Bobby Joe. We've got to catch a bus and an antidote. Well, we've checked about every chemist in town. Still no antidote. Poor Bobby Joe. He can't remember any of us. Your face is familiar. And we haven't met before. <laughs> Wait a minute. We forgot about that nutty professor, P. Bunsen Burner. You mean the one who sold us that crazy carburetor cleaner? Yeah, maybe he can help us. Trapped. My mouthwash formula just won't do its thing. <laughs> the antidote, Professor. You were saying... Ah, oh, yes, yes, the antidote. Yeah, try one of these. Thank you, Professor. Hmm, what is it? My new formula for tire blowout patches. Unfortunately, they turned out fudge brownie. <laughs> uh, Professor, what about the antidote? It'll take time to work one out. We don't have the time. The game's supposed to start any minute now. Professor, you have to come with us. What for? I don't play basketball. <laughs> You're going to cook up an antidote for Bobby Joe. now, but as soon as I get it, I'll let you know. Thank goodness I'll be in the game where it's safe. And I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> as mayor of our fair town, I will deem it a privilege to accept this estate for use as a free hospital to help our needy citizens. And now for the start of the charity game featuring the Globetrotters versus the All-Stars. Pardon my foot. It's all yours, Bobby Joe. What do I do with it? Here, toss it to me. Oh, thanks. Here you are. <laughs> and the All-Stars move ahead with two points on an assist from Bobby Joe. Hey, Bobby Joe, whose side are you on anyway? Play ball, play ball. Time, time. Coming, metal lock. It's two o'clock. Two o'clock? Time to put the baby to bed. No rent. Mini bye, Polly. <laughs> How about that? It's the old sleeper play. Good for two points. Now, partner of the All-Stars comes charging back. Over there. 
your dribble speedy. You dribble through a safety zone and dribbling without a license. Boys, take him away. Now <laughs> take this as evidence. <laughs> wow, what kind of a play is that? Alan Middleack! Follow Middleack? I'm innocent. I demand a trial. Decision or rule. Three shots for Middleack. Thank you, Your Honor. I won't waste any time. <laughs> Here comes Mazarowski of the All-Stars. And what a shot! <laughs> Another brilliant play by the Golf Trotters. Yippee! Hey, gang, stick around. We'll be right back with more laughs. Bobby Joe, he seems to be confused. Now, let me see. Which team was I on? Over here, Bobby Joe. No, over here, Bobby Joe. Toss it here. No, over here. Throw it here. Throw it here. Guess which hand the ball is in. This one. This one? You win, you lucky guy, you. Thank you, Bobby Joe. <laughs> that play puts the All-Stars in the lead again. And there's the gun ending the first half with the Globetrotters behind, 38 to 40. Thanks to you, Bobby Joe, we're losing. I told you I couldn't play basketball. We better check with Professor Burner. We need that antidote for Bobby Joe and fast. Ah, yes, a dash of paprika, a touch of nutmeg. Here you are, Granny, my dear. Run this through the mixer. I don't see a mixer in this kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't see why that wouldn't work, Dribbles. Tail whack power is the next best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dribbles. Here you are, Professor. Ah, yes, my dear. All shook up and ready for the filling. Into the oven you go. Yes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> ah, success! The antidote is ready. Well, Professor, any luck? Surprise! Happy birthday, Bobby Joe. This is my birthday. I don't remember. Sure it is. Come on, try a piece of cake. I hope it's not another fudge brownie. If it is, we're sunk. Mmm. It's delicious. <laughs> what, Professor? Of course, my dear. There was never any doubt. Hi, fellas. How's every little thing? Hi, Dribbles. Where you been? <laughs> Back to normal. Now we can go back and win the game. Get me out of here! The game's half over! <laughs> now we're free, boss! Now let's find Bobby Joe. Come on! Are you sure you can play Bobby Joe? Metal Lark, I never felt better. And as soon as the game is finished, I'll sign over the estate to the city. So, Bobby Joe was himself again. I've got to make him sign over the deed to me now. Let's play ball! A tip-off is about to start for the second half of this exciting game between the Globetrotters and the All-Stars. Oh, Mr. Bobby Joe, could I have your autograph? Sure, Sonny. Be happy to. There you are. Oh, thank you, sir. You've just signed over the estate to me, Cousin Bobby Joe. <laughs> hey, Metalark! Snidely tricked me! He has the deed! Don't worry, we'll get it back before this game is over. Rolling, rolling,
The Globetrotters have won the game and saved the day for the New City Hospital. And on behalf of the New City Hospital, I want to thank you all. You know, Metal Lark, I feel kind of sorry for my no-good cousin Snidely. Yeah, out of an estate and out of a job. Wait a minute. Maybe an honest job will make an honest man of him. Your mouthwash formula didn't work, Professor. Double drag. I'll get it right if it takes me forever. I, uh... <laughs> Professor P. Bunsen Burner and Cousin Snidely should make a good team. I have a feeling those two will go places together. <laughs> Stay in your jammies. Sid and Marty Croft's HR Puffin Stuff is coming up next, here on TV Land Super Retrovision Saturdays.